Welcome back to Learning How. Today, we are learning about Winslow Homer. Homer was born in Boston, Massachusetts on February 24th, 1836. He is the second of three sons. His family comes from a long line of New Englanders. His mother was a gifted amateur watercolorist and he, she was his first teacher. Homer and his mother had a very close relationship and he took on many of her traits, which included being quiet, strong-willed, sociable, and she had a dry sense of humor, as well as her artistic ability. He said that he had a happy childhood and he grew up in mostly rural Cambridge, Massachusetts. And he was an average student, but his art talent was very evident in his early years. On the other hand, Homer's father was a volatile. He was a restless businessman, always trying to make a killing. When Homer was 13 years old, his father gave up their hardware store business to seek fortune in the California gold rush. When that failed, he then left his family to go to Europe to try to raise capital to another get-rich-quick scheme that ultimately did not pay off. After Homer graduated, graduate, um, graduated from high school, his father saw a advertisement in a newspaper um, advertising for an apprenticeship. So he arranged for his apprenticeship at the age of 19 with the J.H. Bufford in Boston. He was a Boston commercial lithographer. And so he worked here for several years, for two years, where he repeatedly made sheet music covers and other commercial work. By 1857, he became a freelancer, which means he could do what he wanted because he just, you know, was able to go and choose work that he wanted to choose. So his career as an illustrator lasted 20 years. That's awesome. In 1859, he opened a studio in the 10th Street Studio Building in New York City. This is the artistic and publishing capital in the United States. I did not know that. That's pretty sweet. So after the American Civil War, Homer turned his attention to primarily scenes of childhood and young women and reflecting on nostalgia and simpler times. Um, kind of, I think he wanted to go back to times when they weren't so gruesome or so heart-wrenching, some tough, you know, tough subjects. He wanted to have pictures of simpler times, of children, of young women, you know, being with their children. And so we're going to check out some of his art very soon. As soon as we're done learning about all the facts we have to learn about Mr. Homer. But um, he died in 1910 at the age of 74. One of his paintings is actually unfinished, so he was still creating art up until his death. Um, and so the one thing that we are going to study when you look at his artwork, you're going to try to notice the rhythm. And so he has a lot of rhythm in his, in his artwork. But rhythm, let me define what rhythm is. Rhythm is created when one or more elements are used repeatedly to create a feeling of movement. So let's, let's go back over what are the elements of design. It's line. How are you going to use lines? Horizontal, vertical, diagonal lines, dirt, dotted, broken, thick and thin. Shape, two-dimensional shapes as well as three-dimensional shapes. So two-dimensional for shape or form. Form is three-dimensional shapes like cubes, spheres. Color, color plays a role in this. Value, the lightness or lightness and darkness, which are enunciate. Lightness and darkness of an image. Texture, how does the texture of the image look and feel? And space, so it's the white space that's used. And so he uses a lot of these designs repeatedly to create rhythm in his artwork. So now you're gonna take a peek at some of his artwork. It is breathtaking, it is beautiful, you're gonna love it. Um, so let's take a look. So today for Learning How, you are going to be given the opportunity to create your own picture of 
your favorite childhood memory. So since he wanted to return, most of his artwork um, that he enjoyed was returning back to um, a simpler time, a time that he loved, you know, that nostalgic feeling of youth. Um, we're going to do one of your favorite childhood memories and you get to paint that. You can either paint or you can use cray um card pencils. So I'm gonna let you choose. I'm gonna have paints available, but some people don't prefer to use paint. So if you don't prefer to use paint, you can use your colored pencils. So make sure you bring your colored pencils, but you're gonna have um, a canvas there and you're gonna be able to create your own nostalgic childhood memory using rhythm. So that's another thing is make sure you try to use rhythm in this picture. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.